Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Barbie Flowers. If you'd like to see how I got this super sleek jet black look, please stay tuned. So today we're going to be using three 26 inch bundles of my mink version collection. Y'all just look at that bounce. Admire it. I also got an HD lace frontal as well, which is 20 inches. So in this next clip, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use my BW powder and my Clairsell 30 volume developer to go ahead and bleach my knots. Um, if you guys want me to do a separate tutorial on how I actually bleach my knots and um, get the consistency and all of that, then leave comments below. But for now, we're just going to proceed um, to bleach the knots. I'm going to throw that on some foil and I'm going to let that sit for a good 20 to 30 minutes. And off camera, I did just go ahead and just wash that bleach off after the 20 to 30 minutes with some shampoo and conditioner of your choice, your favorite. And this is the hair dye that we're going to be using. I normally use Adore hair dye, but I was feeling a little bit lazy today and didn't want to run all the way to the store. So I went ahead and mixed that up with a, um, a whisk and I just submerged the bundles in there, made sure they were um, completely covered if that makes sense. And over here, I'm just mixing some of my silicone mix conditioner in a pot with some hot water. I'm gonna actually throw that on the stove to get it super, super hot so I can go ahead and dip my bundles in there to bring the silkiness all back. So I'm gonna just dip, 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 all right. And then once it starts to boil, I'm gonna actually take it off and let it sit for about five to 10 minutes in there. And then off camera, I went ahead and made a wig out of the bundles in the front tool using my brother SR, whatever the heck type sewing machine it is. I'll show it to y'all one of these days uh, pretty soon here. But this is the wig that I went ahead and made. Looks very gorgeous. Now it's time to go ahead and get that customized. So I haven't did a side part in a long time and my friends and everybody been bugging me about doing a side part. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm just going ahead and I'm about to get the part set it right now. Um, set it is not even a word, but I'm about to get the part set. Y'all know what y'all know the fuck going on. Um, so yeah. Now before I start plucking and doing all that extra stuff, what I like to do is actually hot comb the hair back. It just makes it easier for me to um, pluck and that's just me. Whatever your preference is, you could go ahead and rock with that. Don't y'all be on here judging my mess up hot comb and be like that sometimes. I'm going to get this $20 and I'm going to go get me another one from Walmart one day. But for right now, this is exactly what it is. So as y'all can see, I really don't have a specific way I pluck. Um, I've been doing it so long to where I literally just be grabbing hairs and it works for me. Um, I might just go ahead and upload a plucking video. So if anybody want to see or, you know, um, get a feel for how I actually do it, um, I can go into more detail one of these days. But for right now, I'm just pulling hairs out. This has always worked for me. Um, these tweezers, I got them um, from Amazon. They're in tuck tweezers and they actually work amazing. So yeah. So I'm going to actually go ahead and do the same thing all the way around the perimeter um, because this is not a detailed focus on plucking. I'm not going to spend too much time talking to y'all and um, drilling y'all brains on how I pluck um, because that's another story for another day. Okay, um, so yeah, just go ahead and continue to pay attention to what I'm doing. Hopefully I can help a few of you ladies out um, in the near future. I'm going to try to upload videos a couple of times a week. Get some of my clients on board and comfortable with filming and all that good stuff. But yeah, just um, stay tuned because when I tell y'all this wig is about to be laid, it is about to be laid, honey. Now, while I was making this wig, me and my friends, it was actually in a rush that day and our time management is horrible. So I did not have time to actually blow dry the unit. What I'm doing right now is just pre-straightening the unit, which means I'm just going over it with some heat to get it as straight as possible for the specific moment. But it still turned out really silky and bombed um, to my surprise. Well, it ain't to my surprise because I know this hair is bomb. But it actually turned out pretty good and pretty legit. And I couldn't be more happy with it. Look at that silk. Look at it. Mm. 
So right here, I'm giving you guys a peek on the inside of one of my units using some of my adjustable straps, which allow you to loosen or tighten your wig as it go. Cause sometimes they get a little tight. Sometimes they get a little loose. So those adjustable straps are actually great. Oh, girl, put it back. And need something to look at. So let me grab this mirror because I'm always forgetting something that y'all going to continuously see throughout this video. Um, so right now I'm cutting the ear tabs off, which require a little bit of practice. I'm making it look easy because I do this every day, but you guys want to make sure you definitely take your time with that part. Um, because if you cut off too much lace, yeah, you ain't got no edges. So, and I don't know what to do about all that besides give you some Isha lace glue, period. Oh man, I don't forgot something else. All right, now I'm about to take this rubbing alcohol and I'm gonna rub that across my forehead. I got on makeup today, so I wanna make sure I get off all the extra makeup where I'm gonna be sticking my wig down it. Got that popsicle stick that just keeps me from getting my fingers all extra sticky trying to spread that lace glue and it actually distributes it very 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 good you want to put a few layers on i'm only going to do two because i don't wear my wigs too long because i like to change them up but you want to make sure that each layer turns clear in between before you put that lace down so one thing i used to do was i used to cut my lace before i put it down but i found this method is so much easier like it is so much easier um, so I'm just combing all the hair back, making sure I don't have no extra little hair sticking out, all that good stuff. I'm going to press that down with my fingers. Now I'm back with my razor that's supposed to be for the eyebrows that I don't got, but we're going to be using this for uh, my wig. So be careful if you're using this because I'm trying a whole bunch of new stuff. And this razor is really, really, really sharp. And I did accidentally cut myself a little bit, but you guys aren't going to be able to see it because I wasn't bleeding. Um, but make sure you are taking your time with this. I don't know why the heck I be moving so fast. I really need to slow down. But you guys make sure you're taking your time with this specific part right here. Now I'm going to take the back end and I'm going to put a little bit of glue on it. And I'm going to go under the spots that I felt like I missed um when i first laid the wig down so i can make sure that everything is down and everything is flat where is my other earring is the question the heck but i'm gonna just go ahead and stick that down with this comb um and get it nice and flat and yeah don't worry about uh, the pieces of that cap that you can see because I'm about to turn that out. Do you hear me? It's about to be laid because I got my little palette that I got from the hair store for $6.99. I'm going to go ahead and use my blending brush. I think it's a blending brush, but I'm going to use that makeup brush um, to blend it out. I necessarily didn't need it for the lace just to hide the cap underneath this is hd lace so you're going to be able to see any and everything through this unlike regular lace but y'all see how can't see it no more period now y'all already know what time it is time for everybody's favorite part now me i never really was the type of person to do baby hairs and as y'all can see this lace definitely does not need baby hairs but i was going for a specific look so i'm going to go ahead and part out a few small thin sections and i'm going to cut that down so i could do some baby hairs um baby hairs i found is some of people's hardest thing when it comes to frontals is making the baby hair look natural now the foam that i'm going to be using is the lotta body um foam foaming mousse i guess um and a lot of people say that when they use the foam, um, they lace start to lift up. Not me. Um, I've tried the bolt hole active and it definitely lifts the lace when I use that. But this Isha lace glue is definitely the truth. It's my favorite glue thus far. And I've worked with Ghost Bond, Bolt Hold, Super Bond. I've worked with it all and I'm definitely loving the Isha lace glue. Um, so yeah, back to the baby hairs. I used a lot of the Lotta Body Foaming Mousse um, and it does me justice for my baby hairs. Now you do have to work kind of quick with it um, or else you know they'll start coming up if you don't tie them down right away. 
Um, so like I said, if you guys just follow along with what I'm doing, um, you'll soon catch this technique um, with the foam and the comb, I guess. Now I don't use gel for my baby hairs because I like a soft baby hair look if I'm going to wear baby hairs. Um, I don't want no stuck down, hard, crunchy, crispy baby hairs. I just want something light, soft, and fluffy, something that moves when it's combed out. So that's why I use the mousse over the got to be gel, the spritz. Um, never use edge control guys because edge control has like grease in it I guess. Um, and the edge control will definitely um, put a lot of build up on your frontal and it will also cause it to leave speak uh, it will also cause it to lift because it has um, so much grease in it. Okay, so after I get done with my baby hairs, I get these little wraps from my hair store. I forgot what they call it, but they're like little paper wraps. I'm going to wrap my hair up for a good, you know, 20 minutes or so. Let my baby hair set in stone. Um, and these babies just going to be looking brand new. They're going to be looking so good. Like a rib, a piece of chicken, some Popeyes. It's, it's just going to be looking good when I take this off. So give me about 20 minutes. I'll be back. I ain't going nowhere. Y'all going to see how laid this lace is. I'm trying to tell y'all. So laid. All right, now B Money is back. Let's go ahead and peel this wrap off. Period. Who gonna check me? Look at that. Boom. Okay, now them baby hairs is laid, y'all. Look at this hair. Look, okay, I'm gonna fix my necklace. Hold on. All right, one second, y'all. There we go. All right, now look at this hair. Just gorgeous. Baby hairs on fleek, everything on fleek. Period. But okay turn up hmm mm -mm. who is she she is her she's barbie period <laughs> you guys thank you so much for watching this video make sure y'all like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel and make sure y'all stay posted for new content here weekly thanks again